If you want to support the predator poachers catching the sickest both near and far, go to the pinned comment. If you're on Rumble, press the red join button to see over 30 videos early and uncensored for only $7 a month. We can't do this without your help, so join our locals. What's up guys, before this video starts, be sure to follow us on all platforms, including on Rumble, which you can find in the pinned comment. Um, this platform has been giving a lot of people like us a lot of problems lately, and <clears throat> Rumble is a lot more receptive um, to free speech and whatnot. So be sure to follow us on Rumble. Um, any video on here, you can also find on Rumble. And if you're looking for a video and can't find it on here, it'll be on our Rumble. So be sure to follow us on Rumble in the pinned comment like the video. What's up guys? A lot of you guys may know about the Gordon Flowers hoodie. However, we also have a fried pickles hoodie as you can see right here. And Gordon Flowers sweatshirts that you can get in many, many different colors. Show your support for the Gordon Flowers movement and the PP movement by getting one of these. I can tell you they are very, very comfortable. Like in all seriousness, they are. And I actually do wear them. So uh, be sure to get one of these and enjoy the video. This channel is a group of investigative journalists who make educational documentaries showcasing an educating society, especially parents and legal guardians, about potential scenarios that result from young people and adults conversating online if left unchecked. We conduct thorough interviews with consenting adults in an attempt to understand their perspective on why they partake in these conversations online with people that are not of age. The goal of the interviews in these videos and the videos themselves is to gain an understanding of the perspective of the individual being interviewed so parents and the rest of society can be educated and aware of potential thought processes and desires of adults online to unsupervised persons not of age. These videos are not to cyberbully, harass, degrade, accuse, or threaten any individuals partaking in the interview process or in the video itself. We do not condone any of these actions. These videos are strictly educational and we grant full permission for academia, which is any classroom setting or in scholarly papers to show or cite our videos. To ensure that these videos are strictly used for educational purposes, we strictly adhere to YouTube's community guidelines, such as not revealing someone's personally identifiable information. In other words, PII. YouTube defines personally identifiable information as their home address, email addresses, signing credentials, phone numbers, passport number, medical records, or bank account information. We thoroughly look at and edit our videos to ensure that none of this information about any individual is shown in our videos. To ensure extra privacy for each person that is a subject of an interview in any of our videos, as of September 1st, 2022, to thoroughly comply with YouTube's harassment and bullying policy, there will be no mention or information about the last name or first name of any person in interviewed in our videos. Due to potentially illegal activities discussed in our videos, law enforcement in the respective jurisdiction we conduct these interviews in is notified of each interview and video filmed by us. We are not accusing any individual interviewed of being guilty or committing a crime. That is the job of law enforcement. We are not vigilantes and we do not condone vigilantism or vigilante behavior, such as taking the law into your own hand or not notifying law enforcement when a suspected crime takes place. We are investigative journalists. Trigger warning. Some of what can be discussed in these videos can be sensitive to some, emotional, or stressful. The only goal of these videos is to educate the public. At the end of each video, as of September 1st, 2022, there will be an educational portion at the end to discuss what was talked about in the video and to discuss what people can take from that video and learn from and tell others about. Our goal here is to bring awareness and educate the public. Now the video will start. How's it going? Is there a uh, Ken colors here? Yeah. Yeah, hold on just a second. Sure. How's it going, man? Going good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Name's Gordon. Okay. Um, got a package here for you. Um, it's about some messages online to some younger younger ladies that I think we should probably go over here, okay? On Facebook and some other apps. Uh-huh. Who? 
about you messaging people and people messaging you that are probably too young? I don't know. Okay, so this is to uh, Emily, who's been texting you the past almost a year, um, off and on until like I think late June or something. And uh, I think we should probably go over her messages, man, because it's uh, a lot to unpack here. Okay. Okay. Um, want to go away from? I don't want to bring your parents That's into fine. it. Okay. Well, how are you tonight? Otherwise, besides this, I'm good. Good, good, good. How's it going, sir? What's going on? Nothing. Good. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, we can go on to the street if you want. I mean. Yeah, I'll just kind of go to because I, it's like a like last door. You know, I'm not trying to, not trying to, you know, bring it all onto their doorstep. You know what I mean? No, it's good. Okay, it is pretty dark, and I do need to read these. My friend has a flashlight. He's gonna, he's gonna come out, um, and they're for they're for safety. No, none of us are here to hurt you or take anything from you, ask you for money, anything like that. It's voluntary to talk to us, but I think you probably should because there's definitely a lot to kind of unpack here. You know, so um, he's gonna shine a flashlight just so we can all see. Okay. Oh no, I, I mean. Oh, the oh that that light. You yeah, that light. yeah. Okay. Derek, Derek and Derek and Kevin come out too. You know. Like I mean, can ask who who we are. Yeah. Oh, we're just a group called make sure kids don't talk to adults and adults don't talk to kids online. Just you know stuff like that. And, you know, maybe your hands got a little bored or something. You know, that's what we're just trying to figure out, okay? I mean, I'm... If anybody asks, we'll cover you. And we'll just say that we're interviewing men 40 to 45 about growing up in a small town in Virginia. We won't say what this is about at all. We'll completely vouch for you. Yeah, that... We're here to screw you over, man. We're really not. That's why I didn't tell your parents we, what's we, going on. We just feel like we could address it with an honest conversation. Well, first... Well, that's to cover us, man, because we came onto your property and this isn't to put you, dude, like, this isn't to post you or to make you famous or anything stupid like that because, I mean, dude, I had a whole year, man. You know what I mean? I didn't have to come talk to you. You know no, what I mean? I so. I know. I'm, I'm just saying. Okay. I mean, we, you can always face that way too. Yeah. I mean, okay. That's fine. Here, can you, can you bring the light over here though so I can read these? Just don't shine it in his face. Okay. I mean, I, I, I know what it's about. Okay. Do you know who it's about? No. Okay. But was I bored? Yes. Makes sense. I mean, am I doing? I'm. I'm done. Okay. You're done with all this. I'm done with all of it. Okay. Well, that, that's kind of my thing because obviously, it seems like you know if you're a good guy, it gets carried away. I mean, you you know you take care of your parents. It seems like and yeah, all of that I'm, stuff. I'm I'm done with all of it. Do you, Do you work? Yes. What do you do for work? Just you don't have to tell me where. Just what do you do for work? I build houses. Well, thank you for what you do, man. You literally keep the world going, so thank right. you. But, I mean, I, like I said, it's been... A couple months? Yeah. Okay. How did it start for you, man? Just stupid stuff. Just stupidity. Okay. I, I'll, I'll be honest, stupidity. Just kind of, kind of curious, maybe? Or? I mean, it's just typing. Yeah. Fingers going, this and that. Typing words and Yeah. And... Like I said, it's it's over. It's done with. I haven't since whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm turned it around. Good. Thank you. I, so I'm I'm just kind of curious, and, like. And, and it's like one. I didn't do anything. Okay. Yeah. I was like, no. Okay. I was like, I. That right there is, I understand it, it's awful, horrible, stupid. Well, I think if it was awful and horrible and all of that, we wouldn't be here talking to you, you know what I mean? Right. I, I, think it's just, I think it's just enough to have a talk about it, you know what yeah. I mean? So I'm just, I'm just curious because, you know, obviously um, this isn't something we want to see happen again, right? right. How, how, I mean, when did this start, man? I, I really can't tell. Because I, I don't remember when it started. I, obviously, it started. I don't know when, but I ended it. Okay. I stopped. I just well, if you had to, everything away. If you had to choose a specific year it started, what year would it have been? Probably 
I don't know. Up over here a little bit, we got a car coming. Well, maybe we'll Probably last year, this year. I'd well, I have messages going back all the way to last year, so I'd, yeah. I mean, just, hey man, none of us are here to judge you. We're not mad or anything. We just want to figure out how, how this could happen to someone just, who's just a good guy who just kind of gets bored. Like, we just want to see, like, how, like, how this, from start to finish, like, how it starts, how it finished, blah, blah, blah. Like, what, what year do you really think? Like, you know. I'm, I mean, last year. I mean, I Last year? Yeah. Okay. Got it. So, you, you don't know who I'm here to talk to you about? I mean, obviously, it's. Somebody. Somebody. Yeah. Right. Just toss this, man. Hold on. Yeah, they, they live right there. Okay, so what, what app do you think this kind of stuff started for you on? I think mainly Twitter, maybe. I don't... Twitter. Yeah, I mean, I've totally taken everything off of that. I've taken, basically, delete... I mean, I haven't... I've deleted it and started a new one. Okay. Um, just because. Are you actually a soccer fan? Yes. Nice. You don't play anymore, do you? No, I don't. I used to. You see, yeah, I could, I could tell you quit soccer way before you quit doing... <laughs> same, same, I used to play soccer, too. Um, okay. So, so Twitter, you think that's where this kind of started being displayed to you? Yeah. Okay. Do you know like what you searched up or what what was shown to you? Yeah, I don't. No. I really don't. Did it, how how long have you had Twitter or how long did you have Twitter before that started to be a thing for you? Years. Okay. I, I don't. I, I can't tell you how long. Okay. But. Got it. So they, these these pages is basically start showing like these younger pictures and whatnot. Well, they just obviously. They just pop up yeah. out of nowhere. Yeah. Um, and it's like, like I said, it's it was stupid. Mm -hmm. And I've stopped all the way around. Yeah. And one, one of my things is because I, I, I don't understand how these girls online can be so crazy and so, open, so upfront about things. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you, do you have a timetable? Or I guess it would be a better question. What app do these like younger ladies under eighteen I start messaging you on? Um, really, just it popped up on on Twitter. Really, really, yeah. And they would just start DMing you. Yeah, saying man, that's and it, crazy. And it's like that I take it way out of proportion uh, uh, to, yes oh quite a few times i yes. think yeah but talking wise yes mm -hmm. that's all i did right just internet fair enough um i was like and then i was like i need to stop so i stopped oh so you actually had a conscious about this yes okay well i think that's why i came to talk to you man because i think you, you know, you're actually somebody that understands and can actually do something about this rather than just, oh, I, you know, you take pride in this, whatever. No, I, I don't. Okay. So how, how old were these youngins just trying, trying to trying to get at you and make you say these things? I, I'm not sure. Well, how did they tell you they were? They... Like, what age range? I'm not saying, you know, right. this person was this, this, that, but what was the general, I think, age range? Probably, like, between, like... 15, 17, probably. 16, 17? Yeah. Okay. How many times did it dip to like 13, 14? Like maybe once. Once or twice, maybe. Once or twice? Yeah. Was this all on Twitter or other apps too? Just Twitter. Okay. How many times did it dip to like 9 or 10 or 11? N none. Okay. So what about 12? Not that I'm aware of, nah. Okay. So... I have messages here, among other things, to Emily, who was 11 and 12 when she talked to you on Twitter and uh, Twitter and Facebook, I think it is. And is that kind of ringing a bell, Emily? You remember her? I mean, vaguely. I'm not like like I said. It's. I mean, Ken, Ken, if you were talking to so many at once that you don't even remember Emily. No, I, I wasn't talking to so many at once. Okay, so I mean, so do you remember? So she kind of remember? You I, remember her then? I remember. Yes. Okay. Appreciate the honesty. Um, but like I said, it's. It's over and done with. Mm -hmm. 
I'm past that. I want to move on from it. I this and that. True. I'm with you. Um. So. Did you have a telegram as well? A who? Telegram. Yes. Okay. I, I do remember that. Okay. And I've, like I said, I've gotten rid of everything. Got rid of Telegram too? Yes. Okay, why'd you get rid of Telegram? It was not what I wanted anymore. Like, I didn't want to deal with any of that. Okay. That's it, what I'm saying. What would you say the most extreme app out of Twitter, Telegram, and, and Facebook and Instagram was? Probably Twitter and, and um, Telegram, mostly. Well, and but, out of those but, two, but, but t Telegram basically just a um, like pictures or whatever. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, it wasn't any messaging. Oh, it was just well, were these pictures like in groups or something? Yeah, it's like groups. Oh, okay. Yeah, got it. So, so, like, so like massive groups. Oh, just big old groups. Yeah. Okay, got it. Um, don't know who they were, but just groups. That were just just picture sharing groups. Okay, no, nothing too bad. Nah. Okay. What kind of pictures were they sharing in the groups? I mean, you could probably know what it is. Did they involve people under 18? Not that was um, said. If Oh, okay. But just pictures of that. Yes. Okay. Okay. So so this wasn't like a bunch of little kids texting each other. No. Okay. Okay. Because nah. if that was that, that'd be f up. No, okay. Nah. It, was it just kind of adults kind of just sharing pics and all that yeah. crap? Okay. But it was just pictures of younger ladies right. and stuff. Okay. I, Younger lady, I'm not sure. I I didn't share any pictures at all. Okay, so you, so you didn't participate in those no. groups. Okay, you were just kind of a board viewer or something. Correct. Okay. I, I don't have any any picture like that whatsoever. Okay, so you didn't save any of those pictures. No. Okay, because you know in those groups they were kind of going crazy with those. Right. Okay. All, all I know is that it was said 18. Well, let's, let's okay. I, I understand. I understand. Ken, Ken, let, 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 Ken, you're doing so well. With, we're doing so well with this. Let, let, come on, man. Do, right. do you think we? No. I mean, I, I mean, we've known about you for over a year. Okay. Just come on, come on. Just, just since you aren't sharing anything in those groups, and I assume those pictures in the groups aren't yours. Okay. Basically, what I'm asking you to do is tell me what they're sending because it's them sending it, not you. Mm -hmm. And this is your chance to. It's okay to snitch on people, dude. When it comes to this stuff, you know that. Do you have kids of your own? No. Okay. Do you want kids one day? Sure. Okay. Do you have nieces, nephews? I do. Okay. So, for I mean, for their for their sake, you know, we're all on the same team here when it comes to when it comes to just evil people, right? And I don't I don't want to waste my time talking to evil right. people, which is I'm, not, I'm talking to you, right? I right. wouldn't be talking to you if I thought you were evil or anything like that. But I mean, come on, man. We were in some of those groups with you to monitor what you were doing, monitor what you were kind of looking at. I mean, dude, it was not good. You know that. Right. So just. Let's be on the same page here. What, what what were they sending in those groups? I mean, they were sending negative pictures. Okay. What do you? What are there like? What seventeen, sixteen year olds in there? I guess I I I'll be totally one hundred percent honest with you. Were they younger? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Do I know the exact age? No. Right. I know they didn't like you know they. Didn't Put an age on there, uh, put a number on there uh, right. for them. I, I got you, but um, can, can I, I don't think there's mistaking a 10-year-old uh, with an 18-year-old, though. I didn't see any of that. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not asking what you were asking. I'm not saying what you were asking okay. for. Okay. I'm, I'm, look, look, when, when I say something like that, I'm not accusing you. I'm just trying to be on the same page with what other people are into on Telegram. Because, look, let me put it this way. You, you know the game Mario? Mm -hmm. Okay, you know how he jumps on the people, to jumps on the little monsters to get to the bigger things? Correct. Okay, think of yourself as a little guy that I'm just jumping on to find the real, the real bad guys, okay? This is what I care about. I care about the group leaders. I care about the people actually taking these pictures. Mm -hmm. Ken, I don't give a f about your online stuff, okay? I know you can get it turned it around. I'm interviewing you so I can go find them, right? So you, you got to tell me what they're sending, bro. Because I wasn't in every group with you. I was just in one or two. I'm totally honest with you. Mm -hmm. I don't remember other than they were sending negative pictures. That's all I remember. Okay. I'll, I'll be totally honest with you. <clears throat> was there some um, couple with uh, more? Mm -hmm. Yes. With more what do you mean? Like probably 
uh, with like stuff. Like videos? Yeah. Okay. Um, but where the videos with other participants, not that I'm aware of. Oh, okay. It was like a just solo videos. Yeah. Okay. That I'm more than likely probably just solo videos mm -hmm. that I that I can remember. Sure. Um, and then the naked pictures of what I can remember. What's the, what's the what would you say the youngest looking age that you remember that's not you somebody else sent in those groups? Probably that I can remember. Mm -hmm. The youngest. I'm not good. Probably 15, 16 maybe. 15, 16. Yeah, I'm not like I said I'm not good with that. Yeah, Ken, um, do I know that if, if, looking at your Instagram, it was pretty much all younger stuff, and your Twitter was pretty much all younger stuff. And I got rid of everything. Yeah, yeah, and I'm prepared to just walk away from this right now and not give you a chance. And if I not give you a chance, I mean not give you a chance to just talk. Um, I'm prepared to just walk away from this right now. If, if we're just going to hit a stone wall about 15 and 16 in those Telegram groups, it doesn't make any sense. Telegram's not the most extreme app, if right. that's the oldest. Ken... I like you a lot, which is why I'm still talking to you. Most people talking to you about this, knowing what they're sending in those groups, would walk away right now, say, you know what, you don't give a f I'm giving you a chance to just be honest about what they're sending. Dude, there's nothing you can say that's going to make me mad. There's nothing you can say that's going to make any of us judge you, okay? Because if you told me those are your pictures, yourself, or you're just filming the videos, that's probably a problem. But you were just caught up in the wrong place, wrong right. time. I'm trying to drill that through your big old head because we're on the same team when it comes to this. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want to be on my team, that's your loss, dog, okay? You need to tell me what the, you know, truly the youngest age was in there that you remember. Because it's 15, 16, my ass. My ass, Ken. Come on, what do you think it is? I, 12, 13, I don't, I really, I honestly don't know. What did it look like to you? I can't. Like I said, I've taken everything mm -hmm. away. You got to, I, I know you regret kind of just even being in those groups, but, I do. and I, I and do. I respect that. I do. I, I, but, but come on, man. I, I'm sorry you had to see that stuff, but you got to be our eyes on the inside, man. You got to be our eyes. I mean, this, this is you help, this is you helping the good guys right now, right. man. So if you're going to lie to the good guys and cover for the bad guys, come I'm on, not, bro. I'm not covering. Okay. Uh, What's I, the youngest age you think you remember? Like I said, I told you. I just told you. What do you think? What was it? Like 12. 12? I, I don't, okay. like, as far as I know, that's all I know. Okay. Is that your final answer, 12, you think? Yes. Okay. What, what were they doing in the photos? Were they posing? That, like, posing, just sitting, standing. I, okay. Uh, and, 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 you know, just, just to reiterate, there's, a, there's over 2 million men in this country that right. download and trade child. Right. No stop, and we really don't give a about that. We're concerned about the producers, right? And the fact that you got rid of some of it starts to show that you're serious about I it. I got rid of all of it. I didn't get to I really. Did, I got rid of like, good, and, good. And I, I took um, like I, my name's also Ken. Okay. By the way, it's nice to meet you. Nice brother. to meet you. But to, to show that you're really serious about it, um, if you give us detailed information, that will that will put us in a position to find a producer and actually save children. That's really turning it around. That's 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 you joining our team and taking a stand against this kind of material, and that that's what shows you really turned it around. So, like in the videos, what what were they doing in the videos? Were they dancing? Were they naked? Like, what was going on? But, oh, we'll, we'll stop. Yeah. So so so, what was high school like? Uh, in uh, small town Virginia. Crazy. Crazy. It's, it's just like every other high school. It's you having to. No. No. No, there were some though. Oh, okay. You, I didn't go. You played football. Uh, one year I did. What is your what position? Um, lineman. Yeah, no, I I, I know, but yeah. I played center. What, what did you play on the line? Guard. Okay. Man, we we got to got to double team this problem, <laughs> dog. You know, a, a we got to we got to protect the a gap. Right. The underage gap. Right. Right. See, I told you we got you covered, man. We're not we're not here to screw you, but like in the videos, what uh what all's going on in the videos? Just the dancing and dancing. Yeah. What is that, it like? Is it twerking? What kind of music is playing? I just dance music. Dance all, music. Yeah. I I don't know what type of just. What was the name of the groups that you were in, and how many? I don't know. I really... You can't remember one name? No. Were they English letters or foreign letters? 
Most of them were foreign foreign letters. Okay. That I that I can remember foreign letters. Russian maybe. Probably. Like did it like you know you know how it, I mean, it, it, it wasn't um, like I didn't think they were American girls. Okay. What ethnicity did they look like? Were they white, black, Hispanic? They, they were white, probably okay. Russian, maybe. I don't, I don't know. Like, did the alphabet look like some just crazy? Yeah. Like, okay, so probably Russian. Yeah. Was there any watermarks with their names? No. Nah. Yeah. So you mentioned um, that all the videos you saw were only there wasn't another participant, right? There wasn't another participant and all that. Mm. Not that I can remember. No. Okay. So participant in what exactly? Just another person there. Okay. Um, engaging in sexual activities. Okay. So I, th I think you kind of implied, so were these videos like solo activities then? Yes. Okay. So were they kind of themselves? Probably. Probably some of them, yes. Okay. Got it. Gosh, hey man, I, I mean, I really appreciate your honesty, see? Like, it's, it, these aren't your videos, I mean, and we're just right. trying to figure out what they're doing, right. you know? It's, I mean, I, I, got, I got rid of all the apps, well, change, like, I got rid of the Telegram. Good. I took it, all this stuff off the Instagram, like, deleted all the... All the I, what? All the accounts that... Were underage? That I didn't know. Okay. Yeah, and I really admire your bravery, man. I mean, it takes a lot of courage to open up and, and to help us catch these producers and give us this information, man. Yeah, no, seriously, it's, thank it, you. It is important work. It is important work. Um, did, did anybody try and trade with you on uh, Telegram, like message you, uh, send you stuff? No, it really? was, yeah. Not, not a single person in one of those groups messaged you. No, we're not asking if you, if you trade. We're just asking if anybody hit you up to trade. Maybe even you didn't want want to receive it. Somebody just sent you something and you just deleted it immediately because you found it so repulsive that you didn't even want to look at it. I mean, like, possibly. I'm, and, and it's like, I'm not trying to stonewall. Mm -hmm. I'm really not. Mm -hmm. When I say possibly, it possibly could have, I don't remember. Okay. Because what, what I, when I started getting rid of everything, mm -hmm. when I started de deleting... The apps, I mean, not the apps, but the, the Instagram people that I didn't know. Yeah. I erased it from my from my mind. Good. That's a step forward, man. I really believe that. Did you also clean your gallery out, too? I cleaned everything. I got a new phone. Everything's okay. done. Okay. Where, so where, where is the old phone now? It's where Verizon sends it to. I don't... I cleared it and sent it to them and wherever they have it. Okay. I mean, do you remember, like, did you wipe all of your gallery or just specific photos that weren't, like, family stuff or something? I wiped it. Okay. Got it. So how, how many of those uh, ever got saved into your gallery then? None of those. None of those? Yeah. I didn't save any, like, did I have negative pictures? Yes. Okay. Um, but of underage girls, no. Okay. Do you have naked pictures of just uh, overage girls in there? My old phone, yes. Okay, got it. Uh, did any ever uh, intention or unintentionally just save in your gallery, like from Telegram? Because I know Telegram, some would auto save sometimes. Did that ever happen? Not that I'm aware of. Okay, got it. I didn't go looking to see if it did. Fair enough. Okay. Well, anyway, so Emily, I mean, what do you remember about Emily? I mean, the obvious answer is everything, but like, you know, what, what are you going to tell us? <laughs> no, I, I remember talking to her. Okay. And I remember, like, she she wanted to meet up. Okay. But I was, did I tell her no? No. But in my head, I was saying no, I'll never do it. Okay. Did the conversation kind of get out of hand? Yes, and, it and, did. And in what way? A lot of ways. Well, well, I mean, like you know, like what? Uh, where exactly did it go? Because it seemed like it was kind of cordial at first, and then it just kind of went off in a different direction. It it was cordial. Yeah. And it it went off the rails. Was it? Uh, what about her uh, interested you? I mean, would, would, was she just cute to you? 
<laughs> personality. personality. Okay. I mean, How old did she tell you she was? At first? Mm -hmm. She just, really she kept on changing ages. Okay, what were some of the ages she told you? Um, she said, um, I think 11 at one time. Yeah. And then I think 13 at one time. I'm, it's, it just kept on changing. Okay. And it, you think maybe you're getting mixed up with another person that you talked to? Because she never said 13, she said 11 the whole time. You think that's possible? Maybe you, just, you talked to a couple, you just got them mixed up. I, like, that's all I remember. The, the ages just kept changing. Okay. That's fair. And before we really get into Emily, I mean, the, the other the other uh, younger ladies that would kind of message you, did it all get just kind of flirty, sexual, out of hand, to paraphrase? Yes. Okay, got it. Do you remember ever sending a, uh, you remember ever sending your to Emily? No, I did not. You sure about that? I told her that I did not do. you do you know if that's the case? I'm pretty sure he didn't. I don't believe he did. Okay. And uh, I, I, no. Nah. But did I know. did I send a Facebook? Yes. Okay. But that's it. Right, Ken. You know, this, you know, this isn't about really just being honest with us. It's about being honest with yourself because I am, yeah, I am being honest well, with myself. Well, just just hear me out here for a okay. second. Uh, when he asked about a photo, you immediately said no because you remember the conversation. Right, you remember the whole. You you remember not maybe not the whole conversation, but a good bit of it. You at least remember that you didn't send a photo. So we just, you know, in order for us to have the peace of mind that this is not going to happen again, we, we just need you to be a little more forthcoming, brother. Oh, I'm. This this I'm, this video is not going anywhere. This is only for safety. It's only so you could be assured that we're not here to. No, you I know. I can assure you that it's not going to happen. Right, but 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 we need an honest conversation. I am having an honest conversation. Oh, no, I know, I know, but so let's... let's yeah, continue. you remembered a fair amount of details. Um, so when y'all talked about meeting, what was supposed to be the goal with meeting? Or what was supposed to... What did y'all talk about meeting for? Just to hang out. Just to hang out? Yeah. That... So were you actually going to go see her and hang out no. then? Okay. Absolutely well, not. Okay, were there some other things talked about doing together that maybe you want to take back? Yes. Okay, what did y'all talk about doing together? Well, I'm not going to say it. I'm, I, it's... Y'all it seen it. Mm -hmm. I know it. Yeah. Was it, and it was bad. I'm not going to... Okay, so, so it was sexual stuff? Yes. Okay. Got it. Yeah, and I'm not asking you to describe every single uh, sexy thing y'all talked about, but it was just... Uh, I mean, you'll pretty much just talk about doing said sexy things together, like stuff together. Yeah. Okay. So, hi, how are you? Can't message you on Twitter. Think you have to follow me back for me to message you. Okay, about to get in the shower. You haven't ever had like a girlfriend or anything? Yeah, I have. Okay. Okay, not just in the shower, but in the bed. Then here you ask her straight up, you want to have, she says, do you? And you said, I'm asking if you want with me, hee <laughs> hee. So what about Emily uh, made you say that? Just, just said it. Were you just bored and horny? Yeah. But I mean, happens to a lot of guys. It does. But like, I, like I said, it's it's over and done with. And I want to move on. Oh, absolutely. I agree. I, and I think we should because this is, and I appreciate you taking accountability for what happened. I mean, it truly, it truly means a lot to us, bro. Thank you. So, I would really like to move on. Okay. But some of these got pretty pretty graphic. Um, you said you wouldn't have those PJs on for long if I was there with you. She says, why? And you said, because I take them off you. And you said, I take it off you slowly. Do you want me to leave your underwear on or take them off also? He he, should I just take them off of you and kiss your naked body all over? I mean, why'd you say that? I just did. Okay. I mean, I, and like I said, I want to move on, so let's move on. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm done with this. Okay. Do you, you think maybe you fell for it a little bit? I mean, you're a human being, man, I'm, just like all of us. Yeah. But it's... I hit the the delete button, and it's it's done. Like a, Okay, and I'd really like to look between your legs, and I'd rub my on your... All right, 
I'm done. I'm, I'm really done. I, I said I wanted to move on, but you keep on going. Well, Ken, you know, and, and that's it. I'm, I'm moving on. I've moved on. Well, there is one. So, th and, and there is one thing I want to ask about, man. Okay. okay. There was a time where you talked about basically having when her mother was around, with mom being in the in the other room hearing it. I mean, that's the, I mean, you can see how that's worrisome to us, it, right? It is. Okay. I understand that. Would I have ever done it? No. Right. Like I said, I would have never went. Period. But so, so my my thing is, how does this fantasy come about to where you're fantasizing about, you know, an eleven year old when mom's listening in? I mean, that that that's. I, I don't know where it comes from. Okay. I really don't. And I'm not gonna sit here and say what that I know because I I don't know where it comes from. Okay. But I've. I'm done with it. I moved on, and I, I want to move on. Hey, Ken, what, what resources do you have to keep you straight going forward? Like, a, do you go to church? Yes. Do you, what, what, you were uh, placed the light. What denomination? It should be by the pickles or something. Uh, what denomination? I'm, uh, I'm non-denominational. Okay. Same. Oh, same, same? Yeah. So you've accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior? Yes. And, I, and I, I'm... And I'm done. I, I'm done with all of it. So, um, so do you go to church every Sunday? I don't. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not the best Christian in the world. I try to, you know, honestly, I try to go as often as possible. But sometimes it's only one or two Sundays a month, man. I mean, you know, it'd be, yes, I go every Sunday. Roger that. No, I know I got you. And uh, you know, um, is there any like other community activities that 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 can like keep you on the right path? Any like. Uh, you know, any like community sports, anything like that, or are you pretty much just like dedicated to your construction? I'm at work, and then I'm um, involved with doing stuff, helping out with the church. Right. Hey, since you've been taking accountability, what am I going to do right now? I'm going to rip these up and toss these in the trash. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're gonna we're gonna take a step in the right direction with you. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna tear these up. And them away. And, uh, you know, just as long as we can be assured that, um, you know, I'd like to talk about some self-help resources. Um, there's a community counseling program for, not just a minor counseling but you know, just anyone that falls into it, you know what I mean? Anyone that falls into it, uh, they, they have them uh, here in this area Tuesdays and Thursdays at 10 o'clock. Uh, and I realize you might be working, but... Um, there's other, uh, there's, if you talk to the counselor uh, down there, you could also make an, uh, appointments after hours as well. Um, there's anonymous resources too mm -hmm. that, you know, if you don't want your name out there, right. you know, you, you go on, uh, you, um, there's a, uh, it's, 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 uh, you just Google, on Google, there's like 10 different resources that are going to pop up for you. Um, there's one out of Oxford, there's one out of Harvard, pretty much like all the, you know, liberal colleges have mm -hmm. them, and then, and then a couple of the conservative ones as well, because it's, it's, it's being recognized as, uh, as, you know, it, it used to be frowned on more than it is now. Now it's like the internet has sucked so many people into these things that, you know, like really, if the internet didn't even exist, would this have ever happened to you? Maybe not. No. I mean, the, the, the internet is just a bottomless pit of filth it that, is. That, that just ruins good men like you. It is. I agree with that. I mean, I, I mean it's, it's... I wholeheartedly agree with that. Absolutely insane. And this is what we wanted to f figure out as well, because, um, you know, some of these... Some of the stuff, some of the stuff that was said to Emily, it's like, this isn't, this isn't, this isn't Ken. This isn't like, this isn't how you actually are, man. No. Um, but... That whole thing with, and I'm not going to make you, I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to read all those, but the whole thing about, you know, mom in the other room, this happening, I think it's been, I think the stuff on Telegram really just f f made your mind something it wasn't, dude. And, you know, People on Telegram sucked you into that. yeah, and that, that's what I think. I, I, cause, cause you're looking at that, I'm like, there, there's no way Ken woke up and is messaging this 11 year old girl like this, there's no. Way. I mean, this is not real. Like, there's just no way. That's like, that's not how you actually are. Right. But I think, I think on Telegram, because you know, basically, there's Ken being a, you know, dude into woman or whatever, 
and there's a big old blank spot. Then there's Ken just messaging some egregious things to Emily. And I was like, there has to be something in between that we're missing here. Um, <clears throat> so I know on, and I know on Telegram, it's so normal to just see the most terrible. But a 12 year old playing solo with herself, that's not, there's no way that can be the worst because there, there's no way that turns into what you put. I think they sent some, not to you directly, because I know you didn't ask for it, it just kind of happened. What are they really sending in these groups of just this evil Because I think you've seen it, because there's no way you talk like that to Emily if you didn't see it, or if they didn't show it to you. So, like, what, I mean, just truly, what do you think they actually put in those groups? Like, all different types of stuff like that. I'm, yeah. Did, I mean, even if you're, like, when you were scrolling through a group, did you see some type of, like, going on? Some, like, yeah, and I just kept going. Okay. Right, right. Who did it look like he was with? Like, was it, like, a guy and a girl? Like an adult and a girl. I, I honestly don't don't remember. If you, I, I really don't. Okay. Like I said, I've taken everything out of my out of my mind. I don't want that no more. Okay. Absolutely. Um, when, whenever you do uh, construction projects at the church, like, what do you usually do? You, like, I mean, is it kind of similar to what you do at your job with house building? No, uh-uh. It's like I've, what I'm doing is, um, like, helping out with the church, like, with, um, like, we have things that, like, we just had, it's called, like, a share day. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. Where uh, people donate whatever they want to donate furniture clothes toy whatever they want to donate and then um, whoever need that's a need comes in and takes whatever they they want for free will you will you just like help it hand this stuff out yes. or taking it in cataloging it stuff like that right S setting it up and then I was there while they were help, um, coming in and I was uh, if they needed help taking it out to a vehicle I would do that for them you got a good preacher yeah I got a great preacher yes. he's, he's got a wife and three kids. I mean, he, you know, he's really a man of God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just, uh, how long have you known, like, your preacher? Like, I mean, I mean, how long have you been, like, at that church? Has it been, like, your whole life here, or has it been... Off and on, whole life. Okay. So, uh -huh. you, did you grow up at this house? No. Okay. No. Um, but, like, we just got a new preacher probably a month or so ago, so... Okay. That's awesome. Uh, what um so like so so when you're building houses like, what part of it do you do? Cause like you know I I, I used to do construction too. I actually used to do a little bit of line lineman work, a little okay. bit of tower work. Um, what I mean, is it like are you like the uh, the one that's making the plans? Are you the one that's like re tiling the? Um, I'm not an expert on building houses. Building all the stairs. All the stairs. Mm -hmm. So like all the so, so I mean so is that like your main specialty is stairs? Yeah, that's all all that I do. We uh, we actually do everything in a factory. How does that how does it I mean so you you do it in the factory and then you install it in the home? I don't install it. Okay, so you work we, at the factory. Yeah, we have the contractors and and people that install it, but we actually build like all the walls and everything. We throw it on a on a truck and then they drop the walls off and then they with the plans build a build a house. That's, that's so interesting. Is, is, I mean, is it like a lot of shop work? Is it like putting like big wood things on the thing and running them through the buzz mm -hmm. saw, stuff like that? Yep. Measuring it out? Yep. And do you, like, did, did they give you like a job plan ahead of time with like specifications for each step? Because I'm sure that they would be different in different buildings, but I know that the, there's some common floor plans. They're, they're just common stairs. Um, oh, common stairs? Um, if, if it's a, like a special type of stair, we get it from a different um, plant. How, how did you like get into that field? Like if I wanted to go in that field, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, was there like a trade school that you had to go to or? No, they were opening up the plant um, around here and I applied for it and. You just got in. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's, that's great. You know, I mean, that's, that's a big advantage for a small town when, right. when a business like that comes. I mean, right. especially in today's economy, man. I mean, house house rates 7%. Mm -hmm. I mean, what do, you, what, do you, what do you think about like what's going on politically? I'm not here to talk about Oh, politics. no, no, I got you, man. No, no, I got you, I got you, I got you. I got you. I just, I just wish I wasn't paying, like, what, $20 a gallon for gas, but, you know, right. I would much rather it be $1. I mean, right. you know, and, I mean, 
food, my goodness, man. You oh, know, I, I know. I used to spend like, you know, if I'm gonna get like a pound of lamb, I, I, I it only used to cost me like, uh, like seven bucks, and now it's like twelve, thirteen dollars. It's just insane. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just it really adds up, you know. It does. I mean, you know, I mean, I, hopefully we could get some relief here soon. I mean, it certainly didn't help, did it? <laughs> no. It, it made it worse. Did you get the vax? Nope. Awesome. Same. Me either. Yeah. I, I had an employer that kind of forced me to get it. So, you know, that's that's what happened. Yeah. You know, not not that I'm really like liberal conservative. I don't really identify with either one. It just, right. you know, it just happens, man. And that, you know what happened to me when I got the vaccine? And then I still had to go back and get a second shot. Okay. It's just like, my goodness, man. You know, it's like, it's like, it's... Um, you, uh, um, who's your pick for Super Bowl? I mean... It's kind of tough, my, I it? mean, I'm going to say my team. What's your team? Cowboys. Cowboys. How did that happen? Like, you're in Virginia. Are, are most people here Redskins fans? Or, I'm sorry, Commanders fans? It's Commanders or Cowboys here. Cowboys, how? I, I don't know how. And then you have some Eagles. Okay. I mean, that kind of makes sense because, like, yeah. Philly's on I-95 and shit, but, like, okay. Cowboys. Yeah. I'm a permanently depressed Carolina Panthers fan. <laughs> and there's no f hope for me in sight. Like, I'm never going to see, I'm never going to see uh, a championship. It's it's very rare that I'll even see the playoffs. I mean, it's just like, I, I don't know what kind of the Panthers are running. Yeah, I'm from Houston, so um, my favorite time of the year is uh, the first pick in the draft we get every year. But, um, you know, it's miserable, man. Just seeing bust after bust. Right. I mean, dude, even Deshaun Watson, he was good, but he was kind of a bust because he... So, I mean, they they all just suck. <laughs> it all just, it's all terrible. But... Oh, man, oh, man. Uh... You got an old lineman name, Ken... God, he's freaking thing like 80s Raiders and... Ken pulling, knocking down, like, I don't know. You play left guard or right guard? Right. Okay. Ken is a good name for a business if you're ever going to start one for yourself. Have mm -hmm. you ever thought about that? No. No? Mm -mm. It's just habit. The, does, does the one you're at now, does it give you a pension or no? Uh... They're really cutting back on all of them, yeah. and it would be nice. And they're, the ones that even have pensions are lowering the pensions. Did you, did you hear about what happened with the yellow truck? Mm -hmm. uh, what, what, what's, is it called a yellow truck? or well, yeah, Yellow truck. Yellow truck. Those guys got screwed. Like, guys that were working there 35, 40 years. Oh, is that the video of that black dude that was going off on his yeah, ball? Yeah, dude. That was, that was so, so f sad. Because so okay. And the pensions, I think, cost $50 million a month to pay out. But what they did was they... They were a small regional company, and instead of like just staying small and focusing on that area, they they went out and like bought trucking companies across the country, and they gave the lowest rates everywhere, and it wasn't sustainable, and they went bankrupt. And all those people that thought they were going to get pensions are screwed. They're not going to get pensions. They're going to have mm. to work until the wheels mm. fall off. Mm. So sad. I I, don't, I hope I'm never in that position, man. But uh, that's, you know, I mean, construction, man, you know how it is, man. It's hot in the, I mean, oh, it, yeah. the summer, it really picks up. And then the winter months, there's just, there's just not as much out there. Right. You know, you ever do any blacktop work? No. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, I mean, I have held a stop sign, so I don't know if you consider that blacktop <laughs> work, but I, I, I like to tell people, I like to embellish a little bit, mm -hmm. tell people I do blacktop work, but really I'm just a they're holding the sign, right. flipping it this way, flipping it that way, you know? Yeah, it's like when I tell people I played Division One football, I actually played an, an FCS HBCU called It was like the worst team in all of Division One football. And I was and I rode the bench for one year. But I said, you know, I mean, you can tell my kids I played Division One football. And, there you, go. you know, so. You were on the team. Exactly, exactly. I mean, you played high school football, you know? It doesn't matter if you have Letterman or not, you still played. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. I mean, I mean, it's a real sense of teamwork, isn't it? Like being on a football team. And it, I mean, I, I've never been on a football team, but this guy tells me about it. Um, and it's 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 similar it's similar to a church, right? Because it's a common community with common beliefs, mm -hmm. and you support each other. Right. 
And I, I think it's incredible that you're doing things, uh, that you're doing things at that uh, church. This is like a quiet, nice little area. There's like barely any cars that go by. This is this has got to be nice. I mean, it's better than being on like the main road right. where there's like all the crazy vehicle right. traffic and just trucks going by, shaking your whole damn house. Mm -hmm. Man, when did you move over here? Uh, a while ago. Ever plan on getting your own place or? Yeah. It's good, it's good to save money though, right? Yeah, I, it is. You know, I mean, especially especially if you don't got no kids. I mean, you might as well. I mean, especially if you're working in the same town and you right. got a room. I mean, hell, man. You know, I've. I mean, like when I go home to visit my mom, you know, I like I, you know, I stay for like a week or mm -hmm. something like that, and you know, she still has my old room all set right. up. It's, it's it's real nice, man. It's nice to stay with them. You know. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Are you always from this place, or did you move to this town in Virginia? Um, I'm from around, been here. Okay. Was you, this your favorite place you live so far, or? Yeah, just because of quietness. Yeah. I mean, Dad seems to have a pretty good, what is, what is your dad, I mean, you don't have to tell me where, of course, but where, like, what does he do for work? Oh, he's retired. Nice, nice. You on any of the dating apps? I, no. I I bumbled up a little once in a while. No, you got I'm some. Not, I, I don't. You got some pretty girls around in this area, yeah, man. You got any? I don't mess with all that, man. You don't got no suit. You don't got no like ladies, lady friends. You're talking to, you know, thirty some, forty year old. I mean, little ten year old. He's, he's just joking, man. He, <laughs> no, I'm done. He, no, that that was it. No, I mean, he, he was literally just joking. Right, that's dude. fine. That's fine. He's just joking, that's bro. Fine. He's just joking. I mean, I mean, you know, it's like. It's 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 good to find the humor in life, you know what I mean? It's like these guys give me crap for being Middle Eastern all the time. They ask me like, you know, you know, if I brought, my and you know, I mean, yeah, it's funny, right? I mean, they're always asking me like, you know, hey, you know, what do you, what do you, when you come to hang out with us at the bar, what are you taking the camel? Are you taking the car? How are you getting there? You know what I mean? You need a ride, right? And we I mean, say it because we know he's not actually doing that. Just so we know you're not actually going to do that again. It's just a joke, man. It's just a joke, you know. It's all good. It's all good. But. I mean, I mean, you know, this guy's a Jew. I mean, that's kind of funny in itself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, see, see there you go. There's, there's nothing. See, see, when I said earlier, like about the Telegram videos, that their age isn't shown on their forearms. Like, that. see, I'm a Jew. And I made that joke. It's all, it's all good, Ken. It's all good. Okay. These, yeah. these two guys are Mexicans. I'm not 100 percent sure on their legal status, but you know, they're they're good friends. I mean, you know, they're reliable. I mean, there's nothing they won't do for 20 bucks. I mean, they would probably suck for the same price, too. So, yeah, we're all just friends, you know. But well, I think that's, that's, I mean, I think $10 is a reasonable price for sucking some I mean, $20, I mean, I would do it twice, you know what I mean? I mean right. I'm, I'm talking about today's economy, because today's economy is just terrible. Right. It's terrible. I mean, you got to make all the, all, the, all the cheese that you can. you got to make all the green that you can. And suck all the economy. cheese, too, if they're uncircumcised. Oh but those are for the, those are the oh only the Mexicans. Goodness. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you always have to insult the cheese. Uh, well, you always have to. It's part of the grand master plan, you know? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. But... Have you always rocked the goatee? Mm -hmm. I'm I'm trying to grow a beard, uh, but I, I I just can't get to this guy's level, you know. I mean, that would probably take me the rest of my life. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it's you know, there's advantages to being everything, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, he I might he might just have a I mean, you might have a goatee, I might have a beard, you know. It it, it, is, it is what it is, right? So. Yeah. Absolutely, but I, you know, I'm older than him and I've got a better hairline than him, so I could always hold that against him. That's true. It's true. I mean, you look great for 40. I mean, you look like you're what, like probably 28 or something. Thank you. You ever get told you look young for your age? Yeah. Not. Have you had like a pretty stress-free life or? Yeah. Oh, that's good. You, you, you probably never did drugs before. Okay. You, you don't look. You don't. You, know, you don't have that look either. You never really got heavy into drinking, did you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I respect that. I'm the same way, man. I'm the same way. I'm in my mid-30s. Okay. Uh, Did your uh, parents, like, ever drink or do that stuff around you? Oh, okay. Wait, so in 2023, someone actually grew up in a normal household? Yeah. Wow. That's crazy, man. What an anomaly. But, but I mean, that's that's a good Christian upbringing, and that's, and that's why, uh, that's why, you know, that's why there's hope for you going forward, man, not to fall back into that, that stuff, you know? Um, 
and then uh, you, are, you, are you thinking about like getting married, having any kids, or are you just like chilling? I mean, I I think about it. Yeah, I, yeah, I th I I think about it too, but you know, it's kind of nice having a room to myself. I right. don't know, you know, I don't like people stealing the covers from me. It's annoying, man. It drives me crazy. People farting in bed, busting ass in bed, snoring. Yeah, how could they? So. F I th you know, I think, I think, I think though, if I if I get back in the gym and I work hard enough, and you know, I get an ass as nice as his, I might be able to get some uh, <laughs> some pretty hot some pretty hot chicas, as the uh, Mexicans would say. So. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I mean, do your parents know anything about this? No. What? No. I mean, do you plan on like saying what we've talked about, or? No. Okay, that's fair. I don't, I, I don't think it's necessary for them to hear anything about it because you've got a, like, like I said, the good faith-based community, uh, and you definitely have some some resources, some resources going forward. Um, I'm just trying to think, uh, trying to think of what else we could do to help you out. Um, would you be willing to like? Uh, um, talk like going forward uh like just stay in contact and all that i mean I, I i'm just saying like if you ever have trouble you know right. what i mean i like, mean and you know you needed to call me you needed to call him uh maybe maybe uh we could uh you know after we're done talking today maybe a month from now we could meet and then and then we could just have lunch or something you know i mean i'm i'm good okay yeah uh, like, like I thought I, we were becoming friends, bro. No, like, like I, I know. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we're close to the same age, you know. I mean, do you hang out with anybody? You got any bros? Yeah. Okay. That you grew up with? Mm-hmm. Nice. Do you still do any type of soccer at all? No. Nah. I watch it. That's about all I do with it. That's your favorite sport? No. Nah. What What position do you play in soccer? Um, left back. Left back. That is defense? Defense. Yeah. defense. Good at slide tackling and No. I'm no. good at just tackling period. Oh. Like bumping them off the ball. Okay. Oh, like kind of just like yeah. nudging them a bit. You play for the school? No. No. Like a, a Parks and Rec or something. That like that. and then. Um, Do you follow I, MLS? I play, I play with a. Uh, no, nah, I mean, I, I don't watch MLS. I watch. Um, when the World Cup comes, and then I watch some um, your Euro European um, soccer, but yeah, MLS is too too garbage. I mean, I, I'll catch Messi every once in a while now that he's in Miami. Is uh, he, who's your favorite player nationally or internationally? I mean, it was Beckham when he was playing, but I really don't have a favorite now. Yeah. You know, can you show me where the charger is? Yeah. Because I can't find it. Oh, man. Uh, but my sergeant just called me. He was like, uh, can y'all meet me at the church right around the corner? And I was like, sir, where we at him right here? He was like, no, let him go right now. Oh, f Okay. I mean, it's kind of weird, but, you know... I found help through the faith-based community as well, and I mean, you know, I mean, it's 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 wonders what Christ could do. Uh, do you ever read the the Bible at all? Yes. You remember uh, when uh, when uh, Christ was walking on the water, and uh, Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water as well, and and there was a storm and the wind blew. And then he began to sink, and he looked at him, and he said, Oh, ye of little faith. Mm -hmm. I was reading that same passage while I was on an airplane, uh, and I was terrified to fly. And right, right, right at the time when we were having terrible turbulence, I read that passage. And after that, I was never afraid to fly again after that. Speaking um, of that, we got to get back to uh, North Carolina now. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, hey, brother. Hey, it was great to see you, man. Mm -hmm. uh, it was great to talk to you. Uh, yeah, good to meet you, Ken. We, we, good to meet you. We, we appreciate you being honest and, and taking accountability. For everything. Right. Definitely going to get him on that and then on 
Uh, the possession, I don't know if he deleted everything and got a new phone. I think he was probably being sincere about that because he hasn't been on Telegram since June. But we got him on basically Virginia's equivalent of solicitation to a minor. Solicitation of a minor. Okay. All right, guys. Well, be sure to join locals. Uh, we are going to try to get the catch that we did earlier. It's epic for you guys uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, we're going to have try to have it ready for y'all. Make a left here. Yep. Uh, is that okay, Pablo, or do you want me to turn it off? No, you can turn it off. So be sure to join locals to see that catch. And yeah, I mean, if you support us traveling, most catching the sickest, even a run of the mill average in CP and you know, it's lusting after an 11 year old, all that you know, make sure you join up on locals. You can help us travel most catch six. Unfortunately, the cops aren't coming to the scene. They want us to go uh, meet them at the church or whatever. But um, yeah, I wish we, I wish they could have just come and came on the scene, but it's all good. So yeah, I mean, I'm sure this guy will be arrested. I mean, it's pretty clear cut what, I mean, it, you know, it was just very obvious, like, what it, what it was. Uh, he's so full of well, I, I can't remember. I try to block it all out, dude, like, they try to make it look like it, it was trauma for them to watch that, dude. They got, they got off to Of course, they remember what it was. That was the type where open-ended questions just are not gonna work. You just have, I mean, you know, like the only time we, we uh, either one of us made progress progress is when we did close-ended questions. Yeah. And just point, ask them pointed questions. Yeah, because I'm like, well, what did y'all kind of talk about? And he's like, I'm not going to say it. I'm like, just talk about I was like, yep. So. Bro, my freaking joke really triggered him too. I know, dude. I was like, <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm yeah. done here. As yeah, if like right he there. hasn't been doing that. <laughs> You have another, another copy of the chats, right? I do. Okay. Yeah, I've got a, a staple copy here as well as the penal codes. Damn, they got three deep. Can't, they can't go over there? Okay. Right. Yeah, of course not. How's it going? Hey, how are you? Good. So what's going on? So we, we have a group that we catch all my child across the country. We've done this in Virginia uh, countless times. Um, we were posing as an 11-year-old and Ken was there. He was messaging who he believed to be an 11-year-old girl for almost a year. Very sexually, like asking her to meet up. very sexual messages and we interviewed him at his house today and he had made some of those messages into um, talking to multiple minors online sex so receiving child uh, at some point in time and he said videos him was 12 years old okay did you get these yeah we did the videos he described he said that they were dancing and sexual so uh, he also kind of made a brief admission admission that there was some sexual activity involved, but uh, he said that he scrolled past it, he wasn't going to do what it was, and he had the whole ball to do that. Um, but uh, with the evidence that he gave, he got uh, enough for the uh, Virginia uh, equivalent. Let me, me just plug this in real quick.
Very good inches. Like we do and support which is half, be sure to uh, join locals in the pin comment if you're on YouTube or press that red join button if you're on Rumble. It really helps us out. We do travel the most and catch the sickest. Only $7 a month. You can see 21 catches early and completely uncensored. And on top of that, if you like this, it helps us travel the country. Um, no other team catch, travels the most catches sickest like we do. And we don't have any sponsors. We like it that way. So, yeah, you know, you'd be our sponsor. We don't need any 20% off or any of that crap. We rely on you guys, not YouTube, not nothing else, you guys. So be sure to join up on Locals. Go to the pinned comment, join up, or press that red join button. 21 catches early and uncensored, including full versions of vids that may or may not be public. So check it out. We just pull up right next to them and start filming. I'm already filming. Yeah, I know, buddy, you are. I'm just saying we should pull up right next to them. I would hope you're filming because I'm paying you to literally film, so, sweetie. All right, we're not even here right now. All right, what's going on? Is he voluntarily coming down to the station? Can't tell. Yeah, he's getting in, he's getting in the backseat of the car. He's not handcuffed, so he's voluntarily agreed yeah. to go in to talk. Well, he's not getting inside. The cop is getting something from the car. Oh, I thought that uh, I saw I thought I saw civilian clothes. Yeah, he's like by the cop car talking to him. Uh, I can't see him. You know, like zoom in and uh, do the night vision? No, no, like I'm saying, like, he's being covered by the cop car. <clears throat> it's a bad angle. Yeah, he's like behind the cop car. Hey, let me see if I could uh, get an angle from over here. On this side. I just step out right here. Let me step out. Oh, yeah, I mean, like on this side, just step out right <laughs> Better now. Uh, power. I could kind I could I can make them out, yeah. I mean they're just talking to him right now. <clears throat>
guys want to get contact, contact just not kill me right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Turn it all off? Yeah, yeah. So he doesn't just scoop Joshua. in the New York hmm? Let's see something. I'm gonna see if that's actually real. I think someone's just spamming.
How's it going? Who's in charge over here? Uh, Alex. Cool. Hey man, nice to meet you. I'm just sitting there with the first order. Hey, I, I said a few call-up questions on some of the guys that's going to give me a background on this team from you guys for protection. Is that what your primary mode of communication? Correct. Uh, not just tech. It was a fake event here. Okay. Um, how long has the most recent houses been going on? Like, days, weeks, months? Um, so, our fate, our, we had, he initially hit us up on Twitter, and uh, I think we had some of those messages, but our Twitter got banned for being quote unquote underage. Right. So he messaged us again on Facebook, and that conversation lasted until June of this year. Okay. And um, he claims to us that he basically stopped doing this, which, you know, we've had numerous times where offline for a few months. And then they download it all again. So I think he's on an off time right now. Yeah. And um, he basically solicited countless times. And um, he also uh, told us that he was in multiple chat groups where he, he played to saw videos of girls as young as 12 years old playing with himself, which obviously he, he thought was way younger than that. But that's right. what he said. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. He said that he's also talked to multiple other underage kids that we weren't controlling, so he could have been real or whatever. Okay. When you guys first interacted with him, I haven't got to see the whole video, but um, did he admit to any like actual victims that he's met, or he didn't? Um, in per in person, no, he didn't mention that he met anybody okay. else. Uh, and then the, the child, he actually he told told you about being in child. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. You talk about like profit or anything? Or he... Um, no, I don't believe he bought or sold it, but he was uh, just in child where it was being um, put in, and he said there was possibly people that hit him up at trade child. Which possibly probably means uh, probably probably yeah. hundred percent happened. But yep, I'm with you. Yeah. Um, did he? I guess he's claiming he did this all for the cell phone, or he did he mention anything else, or did you guys get into that? I think it was all the cell phone because his telegram is attached to his phone number. Okay. He, he claimed that he got a new phone, but he knows that that's true. So when you guys first talked to him, he said that's like a new device that wouldn't have an ornament for his thing? That's what he said. He said he got a new phone. He did go into some good detail. He said that he believed that it was Russian, that the girls were Russian, they were dancing around naked. So, okay. uh, well, some of them were dancing naked, some of them were dancing themselves. And then he, he mentioned... Uh, If you want to support the predator poachers catching the sickest both near and far, go to the pinned comment. If you're on Rumble, press the red join button to see over 30 videos early and uncensored for only $7 a month. We can't do this without your help, so join our locals.